There was a wonderful retired priest that lived with us in our rectory in South Boston that since has died. His name was Father Dan Sheehan, and he was loved by everybody. He was a priest that was very kind to everyone, and especially the children in our Catholic school loved him. He taught the first grade Spanish, and they would affectionately call him Padre Sheehan. And he used to tell a wonderful story about himself of this day when he was strolling down the street to go to the local grocery store to pick up something. And as he was walking down Broadway in South Boston, a teenager drove by and recognized him. And he called out, Hey, Padre Sheehan, where are you going? The father replied, I'm going to heaven. But where are you really going? The teenager asked. I'm really going to heaven, Padre Sheehan replied. But where are you really, really going? The kid persisted. I'm really, really going to heaven, Father Dan replied. But I'm stopping off at the grocery store first. It's a great story that he used to tell over and over again. And it's a wonderful story when we're confronted uh, with these last days of our liturgical year that sometimes uh, portrays the gloom and doom uh, the readings portray the gloom and doom of the end of times. Uh, the next few weeks we'll be reading these readings of the end of the liturgical season as Jesus tells us in the gospel today about the coming of the kingdom of God. They were all wondering uh, when the kingdom of God would be at hand. Be on God because no one is going to come along and announce it to us. Those can be scary words from our Lord as he starts to describe those end of times. And Jesus tells us that no one knows when the end of time will come except the Heavenly Father. And with regard to the end, we should be hopeful rather than fearful. We don't need to be fearful if we are living good and upright lives, do we? He is saying that God has made us for salvation, not for damnation to be saved, not to be damned. And that's what Padre Sheehan lived by, his faith, his hope that he was on the way to salvation, that wherever he went, even to the grocery store, he was on his way to heaven. And if we think about it for a minute, the world we live in is very uncertain. It seems to lurch from crisis to crisis, from one tragedy to another. I often pe hear people say, Father, is it close to the end of the world? Are the hurricanes or the earthquakes or the fires or tornadoes or the wars that we witness? All of that can easily cause uncertainty, great fear and anxiety. And we ask, what is happening to the world? Is God speaking to us? Is it the end? Jesus tells us that the end will come but don't live in fear about it. Live in hope. Live by faith. If we have no faith, then we will be scared about the future. Uh, hope does not disappoint. St. Isidore of Seville once said, Study as if you were to live forever, and live as if you were to die tomorrow. I think the Lord had the same thought as we once again uh, conclude our l last weeks of our liturgical year. Live as if you were di to die tomorrow. I dare say very few of us live that way. If the Lord came to us today and told us that we were going to die tomorrow, what would your day like, be like today? Would you call someone to tell them you loved them? Would you forgive someone that needed forgiveness? Would you call someone that you haven't talked to in a long time? Would you mend a broken relationship? Would you do something generous for someone? What would you do? Our life as we know it now will end for all of us. The end of time as we know it will end. None of us knows when. But in the meantime, we can either live in fear 
or we can live in hope. May we pray today at this Mass that we are ready to meet God and that we prepare ourselves by good lives. And when someone asks you, where are you going? Tell them heaven, but just say, not yet, because I have a lot of good to do first. <laughs>